What's up, YouTube? Welcome out of Three Garage, man. If you tune in, make sure to subscribe, man. Join the garage. I really appreciate it. And if you return it, make sure to like this video and share it to your friends, family, or whoever. As you can see, it's been a while since we've been on this Tahoe. I've been on it here and there, but I haven't been recording too much footage. Now, recently, I have done a lot, and I am still doing a lot. Um, I will get into this video of what I had done did. You might see a little snippets of me welding uh, a couple things. Uh, I ain't been on that welder in a while, so it feels good being back on stuff just to get uh, rejuvenated and willing to learn it and all in the practice. And as you can see, I did something spectacular in my hood um, just to make uh, clearance for something. But on that bombshell, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We also got a boost gauge. Let me show y'all. We got this boost gauge right here, the GFB uh, boost gauge. Also made like a little diagram on how I'm gonna uh, do the vacuum and all that. So I actually did a lot of extensive research and all that just to uh, have it done. But man, I can't wait to start driving this Tahoe. Once the thing could drive and move then we're gonna focus on the inside as you can see i got a torn seat right here and some other little stuff that we can actually get this truck done and uh look, i want to daily drive this truck i want to put the mercedes off to the side and i want to get back working on the porsche i ain't working on the porsche either so i'll see y'all let's go so guys after a long day man we are stopping at a good point uh i completed my exhaust like i said i want to do something different as you can see I painted it and everything. Uh, Y'all let me know what I should do about this piece. I was th thinking about putting like some black on, um, uh, I forgot what you call it, around just to clean it up a little bit. As you can see. Y'all let me know what y'all would do like to clean this up. I might have to like customize like some type of bezel or something. So exhaust is complete. Uh, we got our vacuum block. We got everything nice and neat. I wanted it to like set up like this. I thought it would uh, look pretty clean. I mean, why not? Uh, we're not using this type of vacuum line. We are using this one. We also got the push connector, so everything will be nicely done. Uh, I got this relay mounted like the other day ago. Well, like a week ago, I got that mounted. Uh, so the only thing we're gonna need under this truck is probably the spark plugs and our fuel injectors. But I will start the truck without the 60 pound foot, uh, 60 pound uh, injectors I'm, I'm gonna get from uh, Dish Works, I believe, if I ain't uh, mistaken that. And then what we really gotta do is wire everything up. I'm gonna have like all my wires and all that hitting uh, so it can be like a clean uh, look and build. And it's starting to rain on me now, but I got all my wiring for the fuel pressure and then for the uh, AEM gauge. And also for my trans temp gauge, I'm waiting for two components. Um, and I'm waiting for the cooler. I'm gonna see where I'm gonna mount that at. But everything gonna go off like uh, the, the temperature reader gonna be off a 6 a.m. Uh, fitting. I could tie in with the original harness, but I don't have the AEME uh, type gauge. Uh, the glow shift one don't uh, do that unless I had the 4060, which had, uh, I think, the 1 and 3 8 MBT, where you can screw it on the side. But this is a 4080, so we have to go a different route. And y'all will see uh, once this be done. It look like a hot mess right now with all these wires, but everything going to be, like, cleaned up and all that. So I'm really proud of it. And also, I got this wrapped up right here. We just got to put our blow-off valve on. I'm going to clean this area up. As you can see, everything is almost done. Well, everything done under here. Everything is wrapped under here. Um, we just got to tighten this up. Um, we just need to get our spark plugs and not spark plugs. Well, yeah, spark plugs and uh, the injectors. But like I said, I can start the truck um, without um, anything. Guys, hey man, it's it's coming. It's gonna come. I'm gonna be positive. I was really determined today uh, with my welding, uh, which was kind of okay. And then just trying to get it to where we need to get it at so I can start driving it. I want to drive it hopefully before July. I got to see what the tuner going to say. I ain't even hit the tuner up. So I got to tell him what I got going on. And let me know what spring should I run on my wastegate. I had changed it from, a, I think, a 7 or 8 uh, spring uh, to a 13. 
Should I like keep it small or should I have it up? Y'all let me know. Um, I gotta probably do more research on that. Um, so yeah, y'all stay tuned for like an, another part. Uh, I'm probably gonna run all the wiring and stuff and not record uh, what I had done, run the cooler line. And also let me know with the remote cooler, would y'all just have it go from the transmission to the remote cooler? Or would you have like a two uh, step, like a secondary cooling? Cause what I was thinking about is having a remote cooler and this radiator right here. We already got uh, two, uh, let me show y'all. We already got one fitting here and then one fitting down there. So we can, I can come off here. Let me know what fittings would I need to come off here at like two or like 6 a.m. So I'm thinking going from here, uh, hooking it up towards the cooler. Like I have one port down here and another port. Uh, it was just like the original one when it had a smaller cooler. Uh, I'd have the diagram of how it can lay out, but y'all might not see what I mean. But just in case that fan ever fell or something, I can have this as a backup. What y'all think? Y'all let me know uh, what y'all think. I think that would be uh, a good backup plan uh, just in case the derail or something go out. It's a good fan motor. I doubt it will go out, but you never know. Then we got to wire this up sometimes. Um, but like I said, I want to start the truck. So I'm going to leave the original um, wiring and all that on. Uh, the only thing we have to do is put our battery in. But as long as I get all the wires and all that ran and this cleaned up, yeah, it's gonna look pretty uh, damn dope on here. I wanted to wrap this uh, to make it more cleaner. I wanted to wrap this to make it more cleaner, but this is what we got. And I wanted to do this block like this because I thought it was like pretty cool uh, to have it. I don't know, I think it's cool. Y'all let me know.